Good morning, uh, guys. Yes, today um, I'm in the city store by myself. I'll have probably Min come in a bit later. Um, he's gonna clean some shoes. I'm gonna sit down and smash out as much computer work as I possibly can. Uh, after yesterday's basketball, my body is so sore. Um, actually, someone asked me what size this jumper I am wearing right now. This is a medium, so when you guys come to the pop-up, you just be sure. I usually wear a small, I'm going to wear a small, but this is my sample hoodie, and it's just like a bit too oversized for my likings. It's okay, let's start the day. Ready? One, two, three, bam! I'm gonna quickly show you guys how our process at the sneaker laundry works. So, when you guys drop in the shoe, there's a few options you guys can pick from. So it's the 20, 35, 50. Most people go for the 35. And I'm gonna show you what we do. So, we have these docket systems, right? So it has your name, served by, allocation numbers, date in, date out, shoe description. The shoe description is the most important. As you can see, this is a common project and the size as well, because we get a lot of the same shoes, and this customer has asked for full exterior. So full exterior means that we take out your laces, we do the top of your shoe, your midsole, and the bottom of the shoe. And I'll bring you guys around here. So this shoe, these shoes are already done. So anything has, this is your number location, and if it's a green magnet, it means it's done, and if it's a red magnet, it means it's not done. Pretty simple, isn't it? Good morning beautiful people, welcome back to another vlog. So this morning I've just been cleaning up the house a little bit. That back behind me is still a little bit of a mess though. As you can see, I have finished some of the crops that I've been wanting to do. Still got a few more to do and I've got to go to AS Color to pick up a few things because we are doing custom uniforms for the people that will be helping out cocaine, so including myself, Hal, Chase, Joe, Vincent, Toby and my cousin Lauren will all be there. We're going to be doing the orange color jumper. You guys would have seen me wearing this orange jumper a lot lately and I'm in love with the cut of it, the color of it and everything so that's the color that we're going for. It's going to be bright so everyone's going to be able to notice us and ask us questions and whatnot. But before we start this day, I need to make my tea because I can't go my mornings without a tea. Now that I've got my tea, I'm just going to sit on my computer upstairs and go through my phone slash use the computer because yesterday, as you guys saw in the vlog, I was hitting up a whole heap of Instagram famous dogs, which I was totally loving. And today I'm going to go through all the replies, see who is interested in working with us so we can get their sizes, their names and whatnot and move forward from that to start a promotion for the dog hoodies. So it's going to be a fun day because I get to look at cute puppies all day. And I've got about an hour and a half to kill until I have to go to AS Color. Let's do this. All right, so what I'm doing right now is teaching Toby, as you guys don't know, but Toby does handles all our social media because I actually don't have time to do it anymore and Toby wants to learn. What have you learned today, Toby? Uh, I'm learning how to design, obviously, flyers and posters and ads. What's the most important thing that about flies, uh, in your opinion. You need to grab people's attention and in the quickest way possible. What you guys gotta understand, if you guys can see in the computer in the background, what, with social media marketing, what people don't know is that we're buying, you're selling real estate on your on people's phones, so people have a one to two second tension span for, for you to grab them and keep them interested. So what I teach you, Toby, is that, what you guys gotta realize is that Especially for Instagram, I'm going to show you guys on Instagram that the first 160 characters is the most important thing about Instagram because that's all people see. If you look at this post right here, anytime you post anything and you want to have a lot of detail, this is all they will see, the first couple 160 characters of that. If you don't grab their attentions with the first 160 characters, they're not going to click the see more. This picture right here, this is a portrait photo, yeah? Yeah. So it's going to take up more real estate of your phone screen so when people scroll through this one is it this is a landscape photo square, square photo one by one. 
A one by one. There you go. See, and this one is the portrait one. Four so, by five. Four by five. There you go. This takes up more real estate, so that means when you're scrolling through someone's feed, you want it to take up as much space of the phone as possible. And, like, great, great work, Toby. Because it stays on the screen longer. Exactly. And stuff like this, right? If you look at this post here, this is, it's not a shameless plug, <laughs> but I'm just saying this is way too much information for anyone to read within that first couple seconds. So what I'm teaching Toby is, the first couple seconds is what what people see. So if you're doing something that has wording on it, you need to have the main massive wording text. So this isn't the greatest example, this is actually a really crap example by me, and I actually designed this, but it wasn't for that. Oh, actually this one is good. Oh yeah. This one right here, you guys can see it's just running in the background. That's all people need to know. They just need to know the day and the time. Because if they actually already follow you as a, on a page, they know you don't need massive logo, you don't need the logo to be big, small, whatnot. It just needs to be something that they recognize and they know it's from you. And then everything else is all information. And you need to give them the most key point information and let them click through. If you don't win them within the first one to two seconds, they're not clicking through. So there's no point. So for example, you need to you need to make uh, posters, what would be called? Uh, delegated to people for emails, Instagram, Facebook, and users that already know what your brand is, and then users that don't need, don't know your brand. So what I was telling Toby is that if someone already knows your brand, you really only need to give them date, time. That's it. You don't really need to tell them the place because if they're really already interested, they'll click through or they already know. It's more of a, just a reminder. People who don't know your brand, you need date, time, place, what you're selling, everything like that. Because a lot of posters these days are on Facebook and people doing ads, it's way too much information and people don't want to sit through and just read all of that. It's too much. It's way too much. So make it short, simple for people who already know your brand. Still make it short and simple for people who don't know your brand, but you add in the little details when they want to zoom in and have a look. What else do you want to tell them? Toby? Uh, e easiness to read. Yes, easiest. Yeah. Be sure to pick your fonts. That's what a lot of people will struggle to do, pick correct fonts because the fonts that people usually use are just like this cursive writing. It's just, it's too much. They're trying to make it look really nice but not bringing a straightforward message. It's time to eat. Toby's gonna keep uh, doing this. Oh, what? I'm gonna change the event photos and pages and cover photos on the event because, tell them, Toby, why do, why do I wanna change it? I'm, I'm leaving this because this is awkward because you have no idea. <laughs> the reason why I want to change an event photo page is for people who have already seen the event will, will oh, think yeah. that it's a different event or a new event. So keeping, keeping interest in the page, that's very, very important because if you invite someone to a page or, or event four weeks in advance, they're going to keep forgetting. It's going to get embedded in the back of their mind that there is something there, but you want to keep it at the front of their mind so they see it at all times. So keeping new stuff like that is very important. All right, let's get back to the vlog. All right, guys, so I was going through Instagram, and I don't know if many of you do know or don't know, but you can go on Instagram on your computer or laptop on the desktop and scroll through your feed. You can check your notifications, change your settings, but there's one thing you can't do, which is check and reply to your Instagram direct messages which is pretty annoying because that's pretty much all I was doing and I'm just sitting on my phone twiddling my thumbs trying to like get it done really fast and I'm like you know what why don't they just do it for your computer it would be so much easier and so much faster but I am done organizing everything I've just got to wait for some more replies so I can get more people on board and whatnot and now it is two o'clock so I can go to AS Color and pick up the order let's go there oh I'm so tangled right now These are not my shoes. What the hell? Mm, let's wear some pumas. Honestly, I know how's really upset that his car is at the mechanics and whatnot, but 
the greatest thing about having his car there and not here is I get to park in the garage. And I mean, both of our cars can fit, but we've just got so many boxes and junk in here. So it's just easier having one car. That's a bonus. Finally back from AS Color, I'm gonna open up the boxes just to see what's inside. I know that I ordered the hoodies so I can do crop hoodies for the pop-up shop. I wanna get those cut and completed and sewn and done by today. And as I said earlier on, the orange staff jumpers that we will be doing right here. I'm so excited. I don't know what the design is, how it's gonna come up with the design. I'm gonna embroider on it. But I have so much to do right now. I need to get these cut, cropped, ironed on and sewed by tonight because tomorrow is going to be a crazy day. I got in a really big embroidery order which is going to take up to like 15 to 20 hours embroidery time doing. So I need to get that done tomorrow plus the following day. Meanwhile also I have another order from another streetwear company and they want me to retag. So they've ordered jumpers from us and they want me to retag like how we do it for them as well. So it's going to be really hectic, but um, I think I can get these jumpers done by tonight, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I've also got my cousin Lauren's help tomorrow, so that's going to be good. She's going to help pack stickers, do the lanyards, and whatnot. Let's get started on these crop jumpers. Yeah. 